And what makes it even worse, she didn't even have the decency to acknowledge that it was a good guy with a gun who stopped this shooter. Oh, that's right, she couldn't have. Why? Because instead of waiting for all the information, her eyes lit up at the chance to push gun control on the backs of this tragedy. If she had waited and actually taken the time to get the facts, she could have used that moment to show how important it is to have a good guy with a gun in schools. But no, that wouldn't fit the narrative. Every time there's a tragedy, she jumps in to exploit it, pushing her own agenda before the facts are even out. She claims it's a false choice to say you're either for the Second Amendment or against gun control. But the reality is, she's literally said she wants to take guns away. I don't understand why we have to keep saying this over and over again, and then people keep gaslighting us saying like, we're crazy that she doesn't want to take the guns when she said it with her own mouth. She doesn't have to state it explicitly. It's logic. If you make it mandatory to give back your guns to the government, they are confiscating it. Because if you don't do it, there will be consequences. That is not voluntary. That's mandatory, i.e. a confiscation so no stop telling us she's not trying to take our guns or no one's trying to take our guns that's exactly what they're doing especially when they're trying to take the most popular rifle in the country if you say you support something while constantly trying to dismantle it